I don't think there's a better way of me saying it. Well, I am leaving the US. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ben. It's easy, aka Benny Mannequin, coming to you live from the Mannequin Studio. Which, you know, you already know it's your boy, dangerously overeducated. Yeah, this shirt has a lot of meaning to me. So, as you guys know, your boy is very dangerously. Honestly, I should add, I should add very to this place. Very dangerously educated, overeducated. You feel me? But in this video, I'm going to be exposing a secret that i've been holding back a while and i'm honestly sorry i'm sorry for the people that care um that i haven't told but i don't think there's a better way of me saying it well i am leaving the u.s so some of you might be surprised as to like what this video is if you guys care and obviously my my main friends that are here in the u.s also watching this video are like oh my god what do you mean yeah i am i'm actually leaving the u.s i'm leaving the country and i feel like i should tell you guys because you guys are like sort of like my listening ear so if you guys know i'm an international student and i've lived in this country for the past six years seven years seven years and it's been great it's been an amazing experience obviously um I got the chance to meet a lot of amazing people. I got the chance to work in this country. I got the chance to lose money, make money in this country, go to school. And um, at this point now, I feel like the best option for me is to leave. Um, obviously, it may not be the smartest thing because the country I come from is not necessarily the best place to be at. And I know a lot of people are leaving. But it's a, it's a decision that I've really thought about for the past couple of months. And I think that's probably what has thrown me off. And I wasn't going to make this video, but shout out to my sister. Shout out to my sister, Tall Spired. Um, check out her YouTube as well. YouTube, Instagram. She's very inspiring. But she, 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 she gave me the idea to just kind of like talk to you guys. And honestly, just express it. But I'm leaving the country. Am I happy that I'm leaving the US? No. I will be honest. I, I don't think I am. I don't think I am because it's a, th it's a thing that I've thought about a lot and I've tried my best to not make this day come, but it has. And it's so funny because have you ever been in a situation where you, you're happy about something happening, but you're also very scared about it happening. So the U S for me, is i would call it home which is which is weird because my actual home is nigeria but being the age i am right now and the fact that i came to the u.s really young and i came to young i, I came to the u.s as a boy basically I'll, I'll say that i came to the u.s as a boy and i became a man in this country understanding the u.s laws um moving for me is going to be very like oh so, um, obviously like I'm not necessarily just, I'm not, I'm not only just moving to Nigeria. I'm moving to Nigeria for the next few couple of months and then eventually I would make my way to the UK. Um, why am I moving to the UK? I'm switching lanes. If you guys saw from my last couple of videos, I quit my job because, and, I've, and, and, and for the past couple of months, close to a year, I've been complaining about the fact that architecture has been very stressful for me things have not been were not going really well for me so i decided to switch to a field that i feel that will match my vibe you know my vibe walk <laughs> but um i am switching to finance um i'm sorry to the people that joined and like subscribe to this channel because of architecture honestly i am sorry because you might feel like i've led you on but i mean if you're here, stay for the vibe, stay for the journey. Because at the end of the day, I feel like every decision has a reason for being made. So, um, my decision for moving to finance is simply because I feel like architecture is not as fulfilling as I thought. Um, it's one thing to get into a field and then stop halfway. 
But it's one thing to get into a field and actually experience it and then decide that, okay, it's not really what you, what you want to do. Once again, I would say, I feel like I'm the kind of person that I like to try things and I like to, like when I, when I go into something, I would go into it with my whole heart and I would stretch it to the extent where I will dig and become sort of like one of the best at the, whatever I'm doing. But once I lose that spark, I have to switch. I have to switch up. Like it happened with me and basketball. It happened with me and everything. But I just feel like with architecture. I... Sorry about that, guys. It was a little bit of a battery malfunction. Um. Anyways, as I was saying, um, yeah, you, I feel like it's a good. It's the best decision for me right now. If if you're not an international student, I would explain. So being an international student, you come to this country, you are allowed to come to this country, and if you are, you're allowed to come to this country to study. If you are from Nigeria, they give you visas. And this thing with the visa is, the thing with the visa is that you, you are allowed two years and then you have to go back and renew it every two years, which is fine. But then if you do get a job, you have the option to allow the job or the job has the option to file a work visa for you, which is the situation I was in for the past year. But the thing is, I felt like I didn't get what I deserved at the company where I was working. So I decided not to opt for that position. Instead, I, I have decided to leave. Um, this is something that well, the fellow international students that, are, that watch my channel could probably take into consideration because one thing you have to understand is that a lot of the employers in this country will try their best because they know you're international and because they know that you need to stay in this country they will try their best to undercut you or lowball you because they know that you need that visa but like i said i'm a very flowy person I, I i i i consider myself like water or like i would like to consider myself like water where i like to go with the flow of things but when something does not fit my flow i'm not gonna do it so um so yeah that's the basis of everything i'm going to be going to the uk to to, to the, specifically to the university of reading henley business school um to study finance and business business and finance because i feel like this is more of a field that i have always gravitated towards in college i i, I used to sell clothes i used to sell sneakers at some point i always feel like every single point in my life has always been so entangled with finance so why not so i want to try something different and derail and see where that takes me i feel like i'm still young i have a lot to figure out we're still most people that are watching this channel we're still very we're still very young to really know what exactly we're going to be doing with our lives you feel me um so i i would always advise people to like if you're not feeling a path you're in take another path see where it goes you can always go back the good thing is i do have my degree i have my architectural degrees i have i have my qualifications i have my hours i have my like i ha I'm, I'm i'm basically on my road to being licensed as an architect but i want to switch off to a different path and see how I feel in a different path away from architecture. So it's sort of like sort of like breaking up with a girlfriend or like cutting off from a friend. You might cut off from a friend or cut off from a girlfriend and you decide and then you realize that that person was not really what you needed in your, needed in your life or that thing was not like when I say thing this is talking about maybe cutting off from something some bad habit and then you feel like oh that thing was not really what I wanted in my life or that person was not really what I wanted in my life. But then um you might also come to realize that oh i actually miss doing that thing or i actually miss being with that person or i actually miss like being friends with that person so that's where i'm at right now in life yes if i if i was in a better situation would i stay in the us yes i will 100 percent. i feel that america is a very forward-thinking country is very um, it has its good parts. It also has its bad parts, obviously. With the, it has a, it has its bad parts. But um, as of now, I feel like for my mind to be at peace, I would need to leave 
and figure out my life. So this next few years of my life, gladly you guys are on my channel so you guys get to see everything. But um, these next few years of my life are going to be very um, interesting, I feel like. I can really feel it. I, I, I'm i going to be doing a lot more. I'm going to be pushing myself a lot more, obviously, because I'm not following a traditional path. I'm going to be following a more business route. So, in a way, we're going to figure it out together. You feel me? Anyways, guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to fill you guys in with what's going on in my life right now. Uh, comment down below. If you're in a, if you're currently an international student and you're thinking about um, what next to do, and or if you just want to talk, comment down below, share your thoughts, share what you're feeling, and let's discuss that in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, you've been amazing. I've been Ben, and I'll see you next. Week.